It's a multi-billion dollar experiment to unlock the secrets of the universe. Scientists in Europe are putting the final touches on a giant underground laboratory that they hope will allow them to peer into the beginnings of time. Their aim is to simulate the Big Bang that created the universe, but some people are concerned the experiment could go wrong and create a massive black hole that would end the world. Alan Fisher explains. Deep underground on the Swiss-French border, they're going to make history by recreating history. 100 metres down, in a vast circular tunnel which runs between the two countries, there's a mass of tubes, valves and wires. They'll be used to repeat the Big Bang and the microseconds after, the moment scientists believe the universe was created. And the secret could be held by billions of tiny microscopic particles called protons. Protons will be sent down one tube in one direction and down the other tube in the other direction. But they will be brought together at various points in the 27 kilometres of tunnel. It's those collisions, around 800 million of them a second, that are vital. Scientists will analyse what happened in the microseconds after the collision and that could provide the key to unlock the secrets of the universe. The project at the CERN labs in Switzerland has been 14 years in development and cost eight billion dollars. This is the basic building blocks of the universe. We're like peering back into just after the Big Bang and trying to explain you know, how the, uni the universe around us, why its structure, how it came to be. This is just one of the massive machines which will analyze every part of the collision. Imagine the thickness of one human hair, now half that. That's the space where the collisions will take place. So this will act as a massive microscope, soaking in every piece of data, every second this multinational project is running. Just to give you an example, uh, if we look at the detector here, the feet of the barrel elements here, these are made in Pakistan. Um, the part which is just outside the central solenoid was made in India. The disc itself was made in Japan. Uh, the, these uh, detectors, the trapezoidal things that you see here, these were made in China, Russia and the United States. There are those who believe this project is interfering with nature. One worry is the test will produce a black hole which could swallow up large chunks of the planet. Nothing that we do here is not already happening in nature. Okay, so we are reproducing what you can find in several places in nature. CERN is famous as the place which created the World Wide Web. This project has no obvious benefits except stretching human knowledge. We are curious people and we want to know how things are and why they are like this. Uh, the first question we always ask just to get an answer. But later on we might get also practical applications. Uh, in our case uh, we do a lot of advanced electronics, a lot of advanced information technology and these are of use. But of course you don't know at the beginning what they are useful for. The Super Collider will start its work later this year. Within 12 months the first results are expected from unpeeling billions of years of cosmic history. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, on the Swiss-French border.